Sa mga bago lang po dito sa akin channel, you can show your support by subscribing. Please like and subscribe po. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon para lagi kang updated sa mga bago kong videos. If you have any questions or concerns, drop a comment below. Try ko pong sagutin ang mga tanong nyo. You can also DM me in my other social media accounts. I have Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. You can follow me there too. Hello everyone! In this video po, gusto kong i-share sa inyo yung experience ko with Tonic. Tonic po, it is a digital bank. And gusto ko i-share sa inyo kung magkano yung interest na nakuha ko sa aking one year na pag-save sa Tonic. Yung website po nila is tonicbank.com. Ilalagay ko po sa description box yung link po ng website nila. And before ko po i-share yung aking interest na nakuha, dito po muna tayo sa frequently asked questions. You can actually skip this part po. Meron naman po ako mga chapters or key moments or timestamps sa aking description box. Pwede nyo pong i-click doon para ma-skip nyo po yung ibang parts. To start, what is Tonic? Tonic po, it is the first neobank in the Philippines. Neobank, it means na wala po silang physical branches. They operate online po. Fully digital platform po sila. They are supervised by the BSP or the Banko Central ng Pilipinas and insured po sila ng PDIC or the Philippine Deposit Insurance Corporation. Who can register as a Tonic user? Ang sabi po dito is any Filipino who is at least 18 years old, has a residence in the Philippines, valid email address, active Philippine mobile number, and does not classify under the United States FATCA. How do I register? Just download and install the Tonic app po, then register by going through the app's onboarding process. Hindi naman po siya mahirap guys, it's very easy naman. I-ready nyo lang po yung valid government issued ID nyo. The next is, kailangan ba natin ng fees to maintain a Tonic account? Sabi dito, no, Tonic does not charge any fee for owning or maintaining an account. Next, yung pinaka tanong guys, is my money safe with Tonic? Ako in my experience, wala naman po ako naging issue with the app. And kasi nga, they are supervised by the BSP and insured po yung pera natin from PDIC hanggang 500,000 pesos po per depositor. Kaya, yes, absolutely, yung pera natin is safe with Tonic. May dalawa po tayong savings account na pwedeng i-open sa Tonic. Yun po yung time deposit and stash. So, ano po ba yung time deposit? Time deposit po is, it is a form of savings or investment po in which may ipipledge kang certain amount of money for a fixed period of time in exchange for a high interest rate. Ano naman nakakalculate yung interest sa time deposit natin? Sabi dito, yung investment amount multiplied by the interest rate times the term of time deposit in days divided by the days in a year. Minimum amount to invest sa time deposit savings is 5,000 pesos. Maximum amount po per time deposit account is 100,000. And pwede po tayo mag-open ng hanggang limang accounts po ng time deposit. Meron bang penalty if I close my time deposit before maturity? Ang sabi po dito, if you withdraw early within 5 days po from opening your account, ang tawag dito is the cooling off period. You can get a full refund of your time deposit. Wala kang kailangan babayaran na. Documentary stamp and wala ka rin interest na may receive Paano naman pag naisipan kong i-close yung aking account after the cooling off period or after 5 days from the date of opening the account? Dito naman guys, makaka-earn ka ng interest from the date you opened your time deposit until your early withdrawal date. Pero, iti-charge po tayo ng documentary stamp. Hindi ko po alam kung magkano yun. And, Keep in mind guys na we may receive less of the original invested amount. Yung interest naman po, it will be based on the number of days your money is stored in the time deposit. So yung marireceive po natin is the investment amount plus the interest kung ilang araw yung pera natin na andun, minus withholding tax and minus documentary stamp tax. Ngayon pupunta naman po tayo sa stash. So what is stash? And para saan po yung stash? Stash po is a savings pocket in your Tonic account. Sabi, you can separate your certain amounts in your savings according to a specific saving purpose. So, pwede siyang for a holiday, new gadget, new ride, your kid's education, or a birthday gift, and many more. You can also invite others to participate in saving within your group stash. Kasi sa stash, pwede kang gumawa ng solo account or group stash. The best part of stash is that you have the flexibility to withdraw it anytime without any lock-in period. Hindi po siya same dun sa time deposit. Yung difference lang po nila is magkaiba yung kanilang interest rate. Next, paano naman po nakakalculate yung interest 
sa stash. Dito, daily cleared balance multiplied by the interest rate times 1 day divided by days in a year. Days in a year, it can be 365 for a regular year and 366 for a leap year. Next is, may minimum balance ba to earn interest? Sa stash po, no, there isn't a minimum balance to earn interest. Ano naman po yung minimum amount to save in a stash? Wala pong minimum amount and you can save as much as you can afford. So in short guys, no minimum amount and no maximum amount yung pwede nating i-save sa stash. How many stashes can I own at the same time? Katulad po ng time deposit, pwede po tayo mag-open hanggang limang account ng stash. Combination po yan ng solo and group stash. And wala pong limit to how many group stashes you can participate in as a contributor. So ano po ibig sabihin nito? Kung ikaw po yung nag-open ng group stash account, Ikaw rin po yung magiging owner. Kapag na-reach nyo na po yung goal nyo, sa inyo po credit yung pera. So make sure na kung gagawa ka ng group stash is dapat trusted yung mga kasama mo doon. Uh, there is no limit to how many group stashes you can participate in as a contributor. Contributor po ang tawag sa iyo kapag hindi ikaw yung nag-create ng stash and sumali ka lang sa kaibigan mo na may Tony Aprin na nag-open ng group stash. Tapos hindi talaga ikaw yung nag-create ng account. Hindi po ikaw yung owner. Ang tawag sa iyo is contributor. And wala pong limit, sabi ni Tony, kung ilang group stashes yung pwede mong salihan as a contributor. Ito nga yung interest, it will be credited at the last day of the month or first day of the following month. So how different is a stash from a time deposit? Yung stash guys, it is a savings pocket. You can add funds anytime, still earn high interest and withdraw anytime without any lock-in period. But yung disadvantage lang po dito is that floating interest interest po yung nasa stash. This means na if tonic changes the stash interest rate, lahat po ng stashes, it will follow the latest stash interest rate. Yung time deposit naman po, it is an investment wherein you commit po a specific investment amount to be locked in over a period of time. Minimum po dito is 6 months. And in return po, merong guaranteed interest rate. Sa ngayon po, it's 6%. And if tonic changes the time deposit rate, yung new interest rate po, it will only apply to a new time deposit account created after the effectivity of the new rate. So, yung old time deposit will always follow the interest rate at the time it was created. As of October 2022, guys, ito naman po yung deposit interest rate. So, kung nakikita nyo sa time deposit, 6 months is 6%, 9 months is 4.5%. 50%, 12 months is 4.75%, 18 months 5%, 24 months 5.25%. So ito po yung mga available na lock-in period and their equivalent interest rate. Sa solo stash and group stash naman, for the solo, it is 4% per annum. Sa group stash, dalawang interest rate po ang available, 4% and the 4.5%. So kung ikaw po, nag-open ka ng group stash and may na-invite kang dalawang contributors, you will earn a higher interest rate from 4% magiging 4.5% po siya. Then, meron rin tayong tinatawag na tonic account. Ito po yun, parang wallet po siya and nag-earn rin po siya ng interest Kaso nga lang, it is only 1% per annum. Hindi po ito savings account. So, if you want a higher interest rate, go for stash or time deposit. Next is, what will happen to the interest of my tonic account if they change interest rate for this product? So, nabanggit ko na po before, yung stash po, it is a floating interest. If follow nyo always yung latest interest rate. While the time deposit, if follow nyo yung kung ano yung interest rate at the time the account was open. In case may bagong interest rate, hindi maapektuhan yung mga existing time deposit account. natin. And dun siya mag-a-apply kung mag open tayo ng bagong time deposit account. And eto na nga guys, mag in lang tayo dun sa ating Tonic app. Bali, I have a time deposit account tsaka stash. Then from our dashboard, i-click natin yung time deposit. Yung sa time deposit ko po, one year na po ako since nag-start and I already have three accounts na nag-mature. Kung gusto nyo pong mag-open, i-click nyo lang po itong plus sign. Ayan. Minimum amount po is 5,000. Then, minimum lock-in period is 6 months to earn interest, which is 6%. Meron ring estimated interest dyan sa baba. I-select lang po natin, i-check natin kung, kung magkano yung makukuha natin for 6 months, kung 5,000 yung ating isa-save. For 9 months, for 12 months, 18 months, and 24 months. Yung amount naman na pwede natin i-invest, from 5,000 po to 100,000. Nasa sa inyo na po yan kung magkano po yung gusto nyong isave and kung ilang months yung preferred locked-in period nyo. As I've said, meron po akong tatlong time deposit account po na nag-mature na. Ito po yung first. I started last September 11, 2021. Nag-deposit po ako ng 5,000 through online banking with BPI. Nag-mature siya noong March 11, 2022. Yung 5,000 ko po is tumubo siya ng 148 pesos and 77 cents. 
Then, government tax is 29.75 pesos. Papakita ko po yung calculation. Yung interest earned po natin, it is calculated by the investment amount multiplied by the interest rate multiplied by the term of time deposit in days divided by days in a year. Well, meron po tayong 5,000. Interest rate is 6%. From September 11, 2021 to March 11, 2022 is 181 days. Then, divided by days in a year, which is 365 days. Yung result po is 148.7671 I-round off po natin siya Magiging 148.77 148.77 I-multiply po natin ito with the withholding tax Which is 20% Magiging 29.7534 Round off po natin to 29.75 Ganito po mag-calculate Ayan, tama naman po yung ating na-receive Sa ating investment Then next po, September 20, 2021 Nag-deposit ako ng 20,000 pesos Nag-mature siya on March 20, 2022, yung aking interest earned is 595.07 pesos. Government tax naman is 119.01 pesos. Yung investment amount natin is 20,000 times 6% times 181 days divided by 365 days. Yung interest earned natin is 595.0684. I-round off natin siya to 595.07. Then, multiply po natin ng 0.2 for the withholding tax. Magiging 119.0136. Round off to 119.01. For my third account, kasi nga nag-mature yung aking 5,000 pesos noong March 11, 2022. The next day, naisipan kong deposit ulit yung 5,000. And last September 12, 2022, nag-mature po yung 5,000 ko ulit. And this time po, I earned 151.23 pesos. Government tax is 30 pesos and 25 cents. Invested amount natin is 5,000 times 6%. From March 12, 2022 until September 12, 2022, meron pong 184 days divided by 365 days. Interest earned is 151.2328. Round off natin to 151.23 times 0.2 for the withholding tax. Meron po tayong 30.2465. Round off to 30.25. Ayan. Now, let's go to stash. Sa stash naman po, pag nasa dashboard kayo, i-click nyo lang po itong stashes. Ayan. Meron po silang mga existing goals, katulad ng emergency fund, vacation, tuition stash, new ride, game console. Ayan, pwede po kayong pumili dyan, or kung wala po dyan yung goal nyo, pwede nyo pong i-click tong plus sign, open a new stash. Tapos, i-select natin yung stash type. Merong group stash and solo stash. So, i-check natin tong group stash. Ito, lalabas yan. Group stashes are like savings account, but with friends who also use tonic. You are in control. When you make a group stash, ikaw lang yung pwedeng mag-invite ng friends who can join. Ikaw lang yung pwedeng mag-close ng stash. And ikaw lang yung pwedeng mag-move ng pera from that stash account. And when more than one of your friends join the group, it becomes more interesting kasi from 4%, magiging 4.5% yung interest nyo. Dapat may dalawa kang contributors para maging 4.5%. So, eto, hashtag squad goals, guys. Kung may balak kayo ng friends mo or any family member, may goal kayo na gustong i-reach, you can open a stash and earn higher savings compared sa bank. Ngayon guys, paano kapag solo stash naman po? Try natin itong emergency. Click lang natin siya. Then, solo stash. Tapos, i-fill out lang po natin yung ating target amount. Tapos, maka-create na po yung stash account natin. So, i-check po natin yung stash account ko. Nag-open po ako ng emergency stash. Nag-start po ako June 15, 2022. I started with 596.59 pesos. Tapos, nagdagdag ako ng 8,000. Then, nung end of the month, yung interest na na-earn ko is 7 pesos and 11 cents. Tax ko naman is 1.42 pesos. Late na kasi akong nag-start, kaya medyo mababa lang yung nakuha kong interest. Tapos, hindi pa siya isang bagsakan. But, nung the following month, naging 29 pesos naman siya. Umabot naman siya ng 29.22 pesos. Then, withholding tax is 5.84. August, nag-withdraw ako ng 1,000. Then, at the end of that month, nasa 26.24 pesos na lang yung aking interest earned. Tax ko is 5.25 pesos. And then, September 3, nag-withdraw ako ulit. Ayan, guys. Baliktad na po yung nangyayari. Withdraw po ako ng withdraw. Dapat deposit po ako ng deposit. At the end of September po, I gained 23.66 pesos as my interest. Then, withholding tax is 4.73 pesos. Then, nag-debit na naman ako ulit. Nag-withdraw na naman ako ulit ng 716.06 pesos. So, ayun. Mas more on withdraw yung ginawa ko. Guys, meron ring other features si Tony. Pag i-click nyo yung, yung dashboard, meron pong loans. 
meron po silang shop installment loan, quick loan, and big loan. Kung may balak po kayong mag-loan, pwede po siya through Tonic. And you can easily get in touch with them po. You can chat with an agent. Meron rin silang Tonic chatbot. Contact number, report a problem. Andun naman po lahat sa app nila. So overall, wala naman po ako naging masamang experience with Tonic. And so far, sa ngayon, I still continue to save with Tonic po. Meron po akong dalawang ongoing na time deposit and yung stash. So guys, if you want a higher interest rate compared sa bank, try Tonic. Ayun lang guys. Thank you for watching.